So yun, let's get the ball rolling. So my first question for Piola is, Piolo, was there a particular incident that made you realize the importance of being healthy? Ang bilis naman. Pwede ba bumati muna? Hello everyone. Hindi na ako sa game show host today. Ano naman tayo, Sun Life Ambassador. Was there ever a moment that I got, I got, I got scared? Health scare? Especially if you're active, I guess. There were times I got into some accidents when I was particularly riding in Baguio one time. And parang first thing in mind is, sandali, may insurance ba ako? Meron ba akong coverage? So it always happens, you know? And there are moments in life, not just you, but also part of your family. So there have been a lot of moments. But I feel okay naman, since knowing that you're very well protected, is there peace of mind for you in when those situations? Definitely. Okay. Definitely. I started out uh, getting uh, policies or insurances early on in my career. As soon as I started in this business, I got a policy so I'm better protected and have coverage. Alright. This question is for uh, Carla. Carla, now that the pandemic situation has improved, you know, we're coming to the tail end of it, people are calling it endemic already, are Filipinos still availing of health products right now? Yes, Jet. In fact, um, pre-pandemic, we've already seen a lot of Filipinos becoming financially aware of the impact of uh, having a critical illness. And at Sun Life, in fact, um, one of our best sellers, which actually Piolo has, Sun Fit and Well, it has always been a top-selling product for us. And it's not selling just because uh, our advisors recommend it, but it's because Filipinos are looking really to get the most comprehensive insurance protection plan. And Sun Fit and, Fit and Well is actually one of those. Because as you said a while ago, no, itong Sun Fit and Well plan na to, it's not just for coverage for critical illness, but if you don't get sick, you get the benefits of having cash upon retirement. So I would say, Jet, yes. Filipinos are becoming financially aware. Apart from that, they're taking active action to be prepared in the future. That's true. So I think the good thing, at least a silver lining of what happened from the pandemic, as much as we didn't want it to happen, it gave more importance for Filipinos to really appreciate the value of life insurance. Uh, si Ms. Tess, do we have any questions from our friends from the media? Okay, our first question is from Kate Alahar of Random Republica. Hi, good afternoon. For Ms. Carla, um, you just launched Donnie Pangilinan as your newest health ambassador. At what age um, would you advise uh, Filipinos to start getting insurance? And are there packages that are affordable for, for the young ones? Um, okay, so yes, Kate, um, we have a suite of health protection products that one can avail of. Siguro to answer your first question, how early should you start? Now, I think for us at Sun Life, we believe the moment you start earning money, you start already getting prepared for the future. And one of those, um, I would say, building blocks towards financial stability is life insurance and a health insurance product. Now, your second question, are there affordable uh, health protection products? The answer is also yes, because um, depending on your budget and depending on your need, we have the most basic meaning if you get hospitalized, you get a certain benefit, to the most comprehensive, which was the Sun Fit and Well uh, Advantage Plan, which I talked about a while ago. So depending on your age and your budget, a financial advisor can recommend the best plan for you. All right, thank you so much, Ms. Carl. Maybe I'll jump on the question that uh, was just asked, uh, back to Piola naman. How does it feel to have Donny Pangilina now join as one of our newest Sun Life Ambassadors? Being that he is an, uh, a perfect example of someone from the youth, di ba? So, uh, just like what I said uh, kanina, um, I started um, buying uh, policies as soon as I started working. So, uh, as early as you know, in your early 20s, as soon as you start working, actually it's important for us to set aside certain part of your income for your, not just for your future, but for your health. So I'm really excited uh, as to what we're gonna do with Donnie, especially with our uh, on-ground events, starting off with the Cycle PH. And you know, he's an ambassador and it's a, it's a good uh, reminder for us to not think about 
uh, waiting to get old to start planning for our future, but as early as in your 20s, as soon as you start working, or if you can, you know, ask your parents to set aside a budget for you so that you're all protected, not just, you know, yourself, but also the whole family. So uh, you, you, you start at any age, just like what Ms. Carla said. So I'm, I'm happy that Donnie uh, is part of our family now. All right. Um, any other questions from our friends from the media? Yes, the second one. Who will ask this? John Ren of Hi, John. Hi, everyone. I'm John from Kumukao.com. And of course, uh, congratulations, uh, PJ, for this exciting event. Um, we saw you do a game show today. Is that something in your plans in the future? Uh, do, do like a game show platform of some sort? <laughs> <laughs> I guess I had my training with APS, CBN, uh, with Pinch Hit once in a while for some shows before and there had been uh, uh, some offers. But I want to stick to what I know better, which is, I guess, uh, film acting or TV. Um, should there come a time now, you know, there's a uh, good uh, offer or a good material mm -hmm. to go to win. And I, I enjoy doing it. I guess it's just... Uh, uh, you know, wearing a different hat, but uh, it's a it's a it's a good practice. It's a good exercise for me as well. And you're back to production as well. Yes. Um, how's that going for you? Um, uh, we just uh, posted our uh, recent film, Walang Kaparis, is gonna premiere on Prime Amazon on March 23, if I'm not mistaken. And we have a couple of uh, films on our slate, so it's uh, it's uh, it's been busy. Tomorrow we have a, another uh, meeting to uh, plan for the next quarter because we already have some films lined up and I'm also doing another film which I will be uh, resuming the shoot on by next week. So derecho, aside from acting, I'm also producing in some of my films and also the films that Spring Films uh, and Cornerstone are producing. That's awesome. Um, and going back to, of course, Sun Life, um, have you already had like a critical uh, sort of illness? And how has your insurance helped you? Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm thankful to the Lord. You know, at 46, I'm still active. You know, I'm happy with the Sun Fit and Well insurance. And I, I get myself covered every year. I will always get a new, uh, a new policy. And yeah, being with Sun Life uh, almost half my life, I think I'm pretty covered. <laughs> um, no, but but I'm sure a lot of ladies would ask: Is there gonna be like a second coming of Inigo um, anytime soon? Wag naman natin pangunahan. Pag pag dumating eh, was maganda, mas surprise di ba? Para ako rin mas surprise. Wala pa naman on the horizon. <laughs> Okay, that's all from me. Thank Thanks, you. John. <laughs> all right, next up, may we call on Pink Siazon of pep.ph. Hi, Pink. Good afternoon. Um, for Piolo. Hi, Piolo. Hi. Um, you mentioned earlier that you really set aside um, your earnings for, um, for insurances. Um, how do you divide, like, can you give us an idea how how you um, divide your earnings for, let's say, um, how much of your earnings goes to um, rewards for yourself, for your family, and um, for savings? Okay, uh, malalaman yung secret ko. Uh, I don't necessarily quantify or put a percentage to you know my spendings. What I do is whatever I earn, I just put it in the bank. Primarily, and then from there, I set aside 10% uh, for my tithe, and then the rest goes to savings because I try as much as possible not to spend as much on things that are just you know uh, you know uh, the material things, or let's say mga luho. You know, I reward myself with an insurance. I reward myself with getting a time deposit. I reward myself with getting new policies. But time uh, from time to time, I also reward myself with trips. You know, with my family, and I don't, um, I, I, I don't spend on things na sayang lang. So I try not to, you know, spend my money and just put it in the bank, invest, get protection from insurances, and 
just just let the money work for you. Hindi hindi ako yung tipo na nag splurge and I always make make sure that you know I'm protected. That's why I don't spend beyond my means. I don't spend on things that are just really unimportant. And I guess it's a it's a big factor that you don't change your lifestyle just because you earn more. It's important for us to know and uh, give importance to our future. And of course, not just para sa sarili natin, but also our family. Then on. In life, um, Siguro, what can you share with us when it comes to, um, you know, um, how you um, keep yourself from being blindsided, like by illnesses or other um, difficulties? I mean, what should be the right mi mindset that you set for yourself? Information is really important. Information is key. And knowing uh, your options, of course, is really important so that we'll know better what to do with what we have and how we can better protect ourselves. So you got to be smart. You got to be smart with your money. You got to be smart with your savings, your, your, your earnings. And it's important to take control of that. And there should be self-love. You know, you, you, you should learn how to value your health, yourself, and your life, and your mind. And knowing that, you know, uh, these are all just temporal things. And what's important is your present and your future. And not to, you know, do the most practical things. Not to spend it on things uh, that will just pass. And also take care of yourself by, you know, just like what we've been talking about. Living healthy, eating right, and having a balanced life. Thank you. Thank you. Hello.